side of life. Hi, I'm Harry Marks, and this is Let's All Go to the Lobby, your introduction to the film you're about to watch. Up next is a film about a man and his rabbit, his six foot, three and a half inch tall, invisible white rabbit. From Universal Pictures in 1950, this is Harvey. Harvey stars Jimmy Stewart as Elwood P. Dowd, whose best friend is a puka, a mythological Celtic creature that appears to him as an invisible white rabbit. Everyone in town sort of accepts Harvey for the sake of Elwood, but pretty soon the power of the puka is too hard for even his family and doctors to ignore. Harvey was based on the 1944 play of the same name by Mary Chase, which ran from 1944 until 1949 for almost 1,800 performances. The role of Elwood P. Dowd was originated by vaudeville comedian Frank Fay, though Stewart got a taste of the character for a short time while Fay was out on vacation. He reprised the role again when the play was revived on Broadway some 25 years later. Unsurprisingly, Stewart often said that of all the characters he'd played throughout his career, Elwood P. Dowd was his favorite. But despite his history with the role, he almost wasn't cast in the film adaptation. A number of other stars were up for it, including Bing Crosby, Cary Grant, Jack Benny, and James Cagney. Still, the film is full of actors who performed in the original production, including Jesse White and Josephine Hull, the latter of which played Elwood's sister Vita, both on screen and on Broadway. Hull was an interesting choice for Vita, as she was 31 years older than Stewart at the time. And this wasn't the first time she had reprised one of her stage roles for an adaptation, either. She'd also played Abby Brewster, one of the adorably murderous aunts in Arsenic and Old Lace, on Broadway and the silver screen. Harvey is a film that leaves the audience wondering up until the very end whether Elwood is seeing things as a result of his alcoholism, or if his imaginary rabbit friend is actually real. There was even a plan to reveal Harvey in some way at the end of the film. Mary Chase, who also co-wrote the screenplay, believed audiences should believe in Harvey just as much as Elwood did. So the studio came up with a few ideas. One was to have the silhouette of a rabbit appear toward the close of the film. Another was to attach a rabbit tail to the taxi driver, a subtle visual nod to Harvey being in the right place at the right time. Ultimately, though, they decided against it. During one performance of the play, a giant rabbit was brought on stage and freaked out the audience. The studio decided it was probably best to let people decide for themselves whether Harvey was real or not. But pay close attention to the Dowd home, specifically the front of the house, above the columns flanking the front door. Alfred Hitchcock disassembled it in 1960 and used that portion with the porthole window to help create the iconic Bates home in his hit thriller Psycho. And so here it is, starring Jimmy Stewart, Josephine Hull, Wallace Ford, Cecil Kellaway, William H. Lynn, and a certain white rabbit, here's Harvey.